Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a sunny day and it's in the month of October and I'm in Canada and in Canada in the month of October we usually have cloud, rain, wind, uh, just cold. But uh, it's nice out right now and that's perfect for FPV drone flying. So look what I have here, this massive FPV drone. Let me bring it closer and tell you all about it. So here we have it, the HGLRC Sector 5 version 3 HD. HD stands for, well, it's digital. It is completely digital and not the normal digital. You know, like the normal, you see me a lot of times out here flying CAD-X, CAD-DX, I call it CAD-X, CAD-DX, Vista systems. That's sort of like the lower cost digital, still really good, but lower cost. This is the full DJI FPV system. So you can put like a micro SD card in this and go film. You don't need a GoPro on the top like I have. It is like, oh, it's amazing. It's got a GPS on the back. Oh, did I mention it's got a 60 amp ESC? A lot of drones come with like 30, 35 amp ESC. This has got 60 amp ESC because it's a 6S. It's going to it's gonna take a lot of power and suck a lot of power because it weighs a lot when I put the battery on it. And it's even got LED lights. I don't know if you can see that. There's LED lights on the arms that you can change to any color you want by the push of a button. So you can be out flying and someone says, I want to be the blue race drone. Then you go, I want to be the red race drone. Well, you press a button and you change your LEDs to red and they're super bright and you go fly around in the evening and uh, it's pretty darn cool. I'm just looking, there's seagulls all over there. I'm going to have to go and just chase them. Anyways, so I'm going to go fly this drone now and give you my first impressions. I haven't flown it, but I'm pretty excited about it because I looked at the build quality on this thing and I thought, my God, this thing is like a dream come true. I know I love FPV drones and a lot of times they're getting better and better. And this one's getting better and better. I reviewed great ones by iFlight that I just love, like the Nazgul, and by GepRC. You know, they got the Mark IV HD with the GPS. I love that thing. And now HGLRC comes out with their version, which is pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, let me go fly this. All right, can you see me down here? I'm sort of in the shade and I'm in the shade on purpose because I wanna show you the LED lights on this drone. Now, since my drone is entirely digital, I have to use the DJI FPV controller right here and I have to use the DJI FPV goggles, which are these things right here. So when you get a drone that has the full DJI system in it, well, all I could say is ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. It's expensive. So they do make this drone in an analog version. So if you watch this video and you go, my God, I love that quad. I want to get the FPV quad. You do not have to get it in full digital like I have here. Because if you're going to start off investing, it's pretty expensive. But if you do start off with digital, then you are going to be golden for the rest of your life because everybody loves digital. All right, let me show you the LED lights. So right here on each arm, you have LED lights. Now, I actually put these on myself. They came in the kit. They're very easy to install. There's little cables. You'll see in the unboxing how it works. Little cables go right into the side. I've put some little blue tape around just to keep the wires out of the way. And uh, to control them, you have buttons on the sides that you can uh, select the colors. So let me put a battery on. I'm going to use a 6S battery because it is a 6S drone. So first thing we have to do is start up our DJI FPV controller. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put a battery on this 6S battery. I haven't strapped it in yet. I'm just going to plug it in. Watch the LED lights. They'll change colors. See, I got red, blue, and uh, I think I set it on blue. That's what I want to keep it on. All right, so let's keep it on that. Okay, you can see the lights down there. I'm just going to hover it here. So I'm going to arm the motors. There we go, and I can fly it up in the air. But see the cool lights? If this was nighttime, wouldn't that look sweet? So there we go. That's what it looks like when it's flying. Here, I'll bring it down. You can kind of see the lights in the uh, daylight, the LEDs. Pretty sweet looking quad though, isn't it? Look at that. Now with FPV, a big 6S like that on a quad like this, you're gonna poke your eye out if you're not careful. So it's best to fly this in areas where there's no one around. All right, let me bring it down and uh, take it for a real flight. All right, so here we go. Bring it over this way and bring it back to my landing pad. And go over the GoPro and land. There we go. All right, let's take it for a flight. All right, it's a beautiful day, kind of windy, but it's sunny in the fall weather and it's not super cold, so it's a great day to fly. I don't see anybody out here, so this is perfect, but I do see a tractor mowing the lawn far, far away, a city tractor, and uh, I might even go down there and check them out. Anyways, let's put the FPV DJI, very expensive, goggles on. Over my glasses too, by the way. 
First impressions, let's put this in acro mode here. Acro mode and arm it. Take it up. This is 6S. Oh, it flies so smooth. All right, look at these fall colors here. Look at the beautiful fall colors. I'm just gonna go fly over them here. Check that out, beautiful. Go in between, between these trees, down in between these ones. Whoa, I'm a little too close there. I'm still getting used to this drone. I knew it would be super powerful. I'm not even on the throttle. I'm low to the ground too, so there's a nice fall tree color right there. Go under that, beautiful. Now, I'm low to the ground, flying away, and I'm quite a distance. And you know what, I'm actually at the end of the field. Holy crap, I didn't think I was that far. So I'm at the end of the field already, and uh, there's my tractor down there. There he is. Obviously, I can't bust it, but look at the tree. Look at the birds and the seagulls, the people I, that just annoy me all over the place. What is he doing to the field? He's made this huge line along the field here. This is weird. What is that? That's not supposed to be there. Check this out. Look at this. I'm going to go way up here. Check out this field. Did he, like, tear all the grass off? Something weird's going on. And then we have all these seagulls down there doing some strange little dance. All right, seagull, I'm gonna get you away from there. There we go, I'll buzz them away. I'll save you, tractor man, I'll save you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he's probably wondering, he's probably listening to tunes in his cab, just wondering, why are all these seagulls buzzing around like this? There we go, now I'm one of the seagulls. That's right, guys. That's right, this big LED light thing is coming to scare you away. All right, I'm sure the seagull police will be coming out soon, so I will just head back this way. So I'm pretty far this distance here. Let me take it up and show you where I am. I'm all the way over here. These are the fall trees I was looking at at first, and uh, my battery power is still really good. There's a house down there. Coming back this way, and I'm over here. There's my Jeep. You can hear it scream over. It is quite fast. I expected it to be. It does carry a lot of weight though. Like the GoPro and the 6S battery are just insane for the amount of weight. But look at this. Just cruising, cruising. No problems whatsoever. Oh, and if you want to do freestyle, there we go. Do some freestyle as I'm cruising. I'm at the end of the field again. It's that fast. Look at this. If I want to go this way and go over towards the school, I have to stay away from the school though because there's kids in it. It's school's back on. But this is a drone that's long range and that's why it has the GPS. You can just go so far. I'm a way, way out on the park here flying. Now I'm over in another section where all our little uh, playground stuff is. I'm diving down at that, but I gotta be careful because there might be kids there. And now I'm in another park. This is the end of the soccer field. And now I'm out over the farmer's fields. Look at this. I am in no man's land. So I'm pretty high too. Let's bring it back. Obviously, you can tell I love this quad. It is so freaking versatile. There's our bus station here. That's where all the bus drivers hang out while they wait to go on the routes. And then we come this way. And then if I go over here, this is our football stadium, a little mini one. Obviously, this is just for a little community because this is uh, I'm outside the city at the moment. So this is a tiny little town football area thing. And come back go over the power lines, not through them and then back to me. So those power lines, as you just saw that I went over, I could see them in these goggles. When you fly with analog goggles, you may not see them as quickly, but definitely in digital, you can make out small things like that with no issues. So once again, really good quad here. Do some forward flips, nice and slow. Come back this way. You know, the, the thing I'm gonna have to do with this is chase planes because it's so darn quick. I've got a little bit of power left. Let me just go this way. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put it in full speed to come back. Hey, look what, look at, there's lawnmower guy again. Or is that a different, that's a different lawnmower guy. But man, what are they doing? They must be putting stuff down. I can't really tell here. What are they putting down on the field? That is weird. All right, so I'm gonna gun it right now. There's full speed. I'm just, oh, I'm draining the battery. It says, no, you've been flying too long. All right, so let's bring her back down. 6S battery on something like this, you probably get, ee, with all that weight, probably four minutes flight time. That's it. If I took it smooth and just cruised around nice and slow, oh, I could probably get quite a bit of flight time, but I'm going like really, really uh, fast here. So 
I've got it low to the ground. Whoa, I didn't mean to hit the ground. I was just saying I was low to the ground. <laughs> oh, I'm out of power, that's why. It died. All right, so I guess I killed the battery. I was lucky. I kept it low to the ground just as the battery was dying. I have to pay attention. So here we are down here. Here's my little quad. And it's all happy that I am coming to get it. The lights are still on and nice and glowy. All right, baby, let's take you back. Ooh, the battery's a little warm. Everything's nice and warm, but uh, this is an awesome drone for flying. I am really impressed with this one. I love it. All right, what I'm gonna do is try the GPS rescue. So here we go. I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm, gonna fly the, I'm gonna fly the quad out and over some farmer fields, put on the GPS rescue and tell you what happens. Whoa, I see a plane going way up, way up in the air. All right, there we go. It's really windy to be flying planes. They're struggling. They're struggling with these planes. Quads, no problem, but planes, yep. Not good. Here, I can even get closer here. On my screen, I have a big arrow and it shows uh, exactly where home is for the GPS. It's showing an arrow pointing over to my right, a little bit lower right. So let's see what happens. I'm over, I'm gonna go over the farmer's field over here. I'm pretty far away now. So let's see, I'm over the farmer's field. I'm way out here. I'm gonna hit my GPS rescue. Here we go, one, two, three, GPS rescue. So look at that, it spun around. I'm not doing anything now, you can see me in the video. And my drone is now, oh, GPS rescue off. Oh, 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 oh. It's falling to the ground and it's down in a tree, on the ground. Ah. It's over in the trees. So I gotta head over there now and go get it. All right, so here we are. We have uh, got Tony over there. Hey, Tony. Got Joe Hi. and my <laughs> and myself, and I've got my goggles. I can still see the image in the goggles of where the drone is, uh, but I don't see. Joe just asked if I could see the longitude latitude in the goggles, but it's not showing here that I can see. I don't have it on my display. That's one thing you can configure in Betaflight. I didn't put it on Betaflight. So would have been a good idea for when it falls out of the sky like this. So here's our forest. This is what we're gonna go into to look for it. Sometimes I have the beeper on horizon. Let me just see. So you can hear a beeper. Uh... I can hear it. You can hear the beep? Yep. Oh, there you go. Tony hears the beep. Good thing I put the oh, beeper on this thing. Right oh, you see it as well? Ah! Voila! Voila! So it's a good thing we put uh, the LED lights on it, so it fell right down here. All right, so let me grab this thing. So all the props are on. I don't know why it fell out of the sky with the GPS rescue. So something went weird there in the configuration. It was doing really well. I don't know. But uh, at least we found it. And it's in one piece. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's go. Let's go fault find what happened. All right, Steve from the future here. And I know exactly what the problem was. It was my fault. You see back there? That's beta flight. I forgot to, well, I forgot to put a setting for fail safe. Let me show you what the setting should be for this drone. Check this out. All right, there's my beta flight screen. I'm just going to plug in the drone and it will pop up on beta flight. There we go. You can see the drone on there. As I move this around, the drone moves around there. So let me show you the setting you have to change. So over on the left-hand side of Betaflight, you have all these settings. You're probably used to it. If you're used to using Betaflight, just go to the one that says fail safe. It's near the top. And that's where my problem was. Fail safe, if you're not familiar, on a drone, basically tells the drone what to do when it loses communication with the radio. So when my drone was flying, if it loses communication, I would normally set it to drop. This one here, that's what I had it on. I said, if it loses communication, I want you to drop, and you can see there's a little image there, and crash into the ground. That's what I had it set on, because that's what all my drones are set on. But when you have a GPS unit, it's wise to set it that it hands over the fail-safe signal to the GPS. And that's what I forgot to do, so let me show you the setting. So at the top, I have fail-safe switch action stage one, and right here, stage two settings, you have a choice. You go stage two, could be drop, land, or GPS rescue, I did not have that on. So I've already clicked it on. And then I go down here and I hit save and reboot. And uh, my little thing's gonna save and reboot. And there we go, it's fixed, it works perfect. All right, back to the video. All right, final thoughts on the Sector 5 version three high definition. Freaking, freaking amazing, I love this quad. I know I say that so many times with quads I review, but wow, this one here is pretty awesome. I got mud and crap all over, look at the bottom. 
You're gonna have to clean that mud and crap off. This one is so responsive, flies so nice. Is it better than the iFlight Nazgill 5 or the Gep RC uh, Mark IV HD with the GPS in it? It's hard to say. It's different. It's slightly different. It's almost like it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more refined, but I don't know if it's as fast as some of the other ones. It does seem pretty fast. It's so, it's so friggin' awesome to fly in the hands. It just boots it and moves in any direction you want. You can miss anything. Any, you see everything in front of you and you can miss things and avoid them and flips and rolls and ah, uh, it's really, really good. Anyways, I'm going to put links below, links below to where you can find this one. I'll put links to the analog version as well. Also, next is an unboxing. Up here it probably says unboxing. I'll show you everything that comes in the box, and then I'll tell you the specs about this drone as well. In case you're an FPV guy and you say, what about the specs? You'll see them in the unboxing. I always leave it till then. But for now, I'm going to say if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will have many more FPV drones coming in the future. Different styles, different models that do different things as well as your normal camera drones and any new products from DJI, Autel. Uh, sometimes unique, sometimes unique, <laughs> not all the time, but Hubson and Femi, Iashin, all those drones that are on the market, uh, MJXRC, they're all on my channel. So everything that's a drone is pretty much on this channel. So anyways, stay tuned for all those videos. But for now, I say I'm going to enjoy this beautiful sunny weather because we're not going to get too many more days like this. And if you're having a great day, I hope it gets even better. All right, guys, take care. Catch you in the next video. Bye. And now a super quick unboxing of the HGLRC Sector 5 version 3 Freestyle Quad. Here we go. In the box, you're going to find your Sector 5. And I will tell you my first impressions when I pulled this out of the box was, wow, holy cow, this thing is a beast and it is so well made. I have looked at this close up and it is one of the best well-made drones I have seen in a long time. It is really well done. First off, check this out. These are arm protectors. So you have a carbon fiber arm right here, which is not going to get destroyed because this is a super thick carbon fiber. But they put these arm protectors. Look at how thick that TPU, that 3D printing is right here. That is super thick. Next item is check out these brushless motors. These are larger than your average brushless motor in size. Most brushless motors are a little smaller than that with a five inch prop. These are massive in size, so they're really gonna handle the heat well as they spin really fast. Now my version is a 6S version, so that's why they're 1900 kV, but even 1900 kV is quite a bit for a 6S motor. Going through from front to back, check this out. At the back, they put a GPS rescue unit. Now, I haven't had to use these an awful lot because I don't fly long range, but this here quad is designed for long range flight. So if you want to go miles upon miles upon miles, well, you have GPS rescue to bring your quad back. Next item I thought was pretty cool is look at the way the arms go. This one shoots out that way, that shoots out that way, that is the front. Do you notice that if you're looking at this camera in the front to see where you're going, these props are not in frame. A lot of drones on the market the props the tips of them will be in the frame of the pilot's camera while well, these ones are not of course the big well factor is the digital camera in the front there's a little camera lens on there, cover protection so that's the dji fpv air unit like it's the real thing it's not the cad x vista which is a lesser unit this is the real thing the very expensive one with the micro sd slot right here to put a micro sd card so you can record at 1080p 60 frames per second out of the camera up front i love five inch props on quads because five inch props are large enough that they can lift a GoPro and a big battery no problem especially if you have powerful motors the great thing with these props five inch is that there's a market out there where you can change these props to anything you want five inch is the most popular now right here this top board that's the flight controller every drone on the market has a flight controller which is the brains and you can see it's shock mounted I can push it a little bit there's it's a little rubbery and a shock mounted flight controller is good because as there's vibrations going through it's not going to affect the flight controller so everything stays stable you're going to have a stable flight but what's more important being an f7 i don't know if you can see it it's going to have a pile of chips on board you know, microchips i don't know if you can see them in there because most flight controllers are f4 flight controllers but this is an f7 flight controller which means it's very modern and very powerful so powerful indeed that these motors connect to a 60 amp ESC. So a lot of ESCs on drones are like 30 amps, maybe 40 amps, but this one's actually a 60 amp. Now this is a rather big quad and it's going to weigh quite a bit. So I don't have, I don't have a battery on here. I don't have a GoPro on it. So what does it weigh without all that? Let me just put it down here and let's get the weight. 
481 grams. 6S battery right here. I'm just going to plunk you down there. Now we're at 700 and here's a GoPro. I'm just going to plunk that on top. What are we at? There we go, 823 grams. That shows you right there how powerful this quad is, that it can lift all of this, fly at super fast speed, and maneuver and do freestyle. All right, so let me show you what else comes in the box. You get a spare set of props, and these are really good props. You get a pile of screws, and these are all for the motor mount, so you get a pile of screws. I have three battery straps on mine that I've attached, one, two, three, and you get a fourth one. You get an LED light unit. I haven't installed this yet, but I'm thinking I will. So there's four light bars in here, and you see the ends right here. Well, these ends attach to, let me see if I pull this over, see right here? They go right in here. So you put a light bar on your arm, up or down. Well, I guess you, no, you could put it up or down. And then you strap it in place and you plug it into here and you'll get LED lights on your arms that will change. Well, you can change them with these tiny little buttons here, right up there. Those buttons will change your lights. And the strap, the LED strips down onto the arms. You get this type of material, which is waterproof and goes over. It's like a waterproof tape. You also get some schematics, some stickers, some instructions. Nothing that will help you, but it's more if you're into the technical stuff. Finally, get some protection for the camera and a little document on GPS information. And there you have it. There's my review of the Sector 5 V3 Freestyle Drone. I think it's really well built. Uh, I haven't flown it yet, so hopefully it flew really well in this demo. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to know more about this drone, just post your questions below and I'll get back to you. If you'd like to buy this drone, check it out on the HGLRC site. I'm sure you're going to be super impressed. If you are hoping for a great Christmas gift, this would be awesome. Yep, it's expensive because it's all digital and it is top notch. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that very much. And stay tuned for many more reviews on camera drones as well as FPV drones. All right, guys, take care. Bye.